marble of her temples crowning the heights, Greece is a land of antique beauty, a land whose ancient glory once fired men's minds. Mediterranean sunshine brought flowers and color and life to Greece. Here was peace and beauty. Skilled in crafts that have been handed down from generation to generation, her people loved freedom. With wealth in her land and a strategic position in the Mediterranean, here was spoil for the invader. And in April 1941, the invader struck. When this happened, we in New Zealand were still secure. But our first troops had sailed for Egypt, and in April they were pouring into Greece along with the Australians and the British. These were days that are not so far behind us that we can afford to forget them. Our men will remember the welcome they received. In Greece, the New Zealand division went into its first action. Here, New Zealanders died. The war enveloped Greece. Her people were cold and hungry, yet they cared for our soldiers, hid and protected our men, and helped them to escape. By 1942, Greece was starving, and today, after being fought over twice in five years and ravaged by unhappy civil war, Greece is in a desperate position. Already we have sent food to Greece. In October 1944, these cases were being loaded in Wellington. The inscription on the cases read, a gift for the Greeks with gratitude from the New Zealanders. This food went, with grateful thanks, to a people who had stood by our men in their need. But this was not all. A national-wide UNRWA clothes drive last year saw these children racing against the European winter, helping to build up a million pounds weight of clothing to be sent from New Zealand to countries in stricken Europe. Some of this clothing went to Greece. Of all the devastated countries in Europe, Greece is today among the most desperate. Greece needs food and clothing and help. Already, New Zealand through Corso, Council for Relief Services Overseas, has helped. But the need is great and urgent. Just before Christmas, Corso sent four UNRWA relief teams to Greece. 24 men and women set out to help with medical care and attention, the people of Greece to whom we owe a personal debt. These teams must be maintained and more teams for other countries are needed. China has appealed for help. Her need, too, is desperate. There is still much owing, and Corso needs your help. Greece needs your help. As Captain Upham VC has said, As one of the New Zealanders on service in Greece and Crete, I know how attached many of our men became to the inhabitants there. These people were very unselfish, and in many cases very generous to our fellows. And now I'm afraid that many of them are starving and in dire want of all sorts of food and clothing. Back here in New Zealand, most people are living in comparative comfort and luxury, whilst all over the world, other peoples are starving. I know that New Zealand people have given a lot during the war years, and I hope that now they can give a lot more to help alleviate distress amongst our friends in other countries, people who, have, who befriended us in our time of need.